Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival with your T-addled uh, builder, Akiva. Yeah, don't really else how to introduce that. Anyways, uh, I completely uh, screwed up the intro there, and you know what? I'm just going to keep going. So, on the pad here today, this is, this is not going to be a typical build video. Um, I have a few projects. Let's go ahead and get the time and the time right. I have a few projects I've been working on. Um, as you're aware, this one was a concept for a thumbnail, and I haven't done anything with it yet because I don't have a real clear idea on what I'm going to do with it. The, this thing right here. This is the Reaper. If you've been watching the videos, you're aware of what it is. And as you can see, I have this little floating thing above it, and, and we'll get to that in a minute. And over here is the Miza Rai. Now, I have the Phantom over there, and I'm not going to be working on... I, I, I don't know, I might be working on that a little bit today. But over here we have the Miza Rai. Now, as some of you may be aware, or may not be aware, this is something that I'm building for the new players of the game. Something that they'll be able to spawn in without subbing anything on the workshop. It's basically a core BP. And... This is designed to be, well, let me go look at the documentation of the mission statement while you look at these lovely LCDs I worked on. So, the purpose of the Miza Rai, uh, oh right, it's not there, it's documentations over here. Uh, project objective, create an upgradable combat CV that shows off the game in a positive light and gives best possible first impressions aimed at new players and novice pilots needs to be combat capable up to a Xyrax Emirat now knowing my insanity and in building it might be more combat capable of that but eh, who knows I'll have to test it it needs to have moderate nose tanking abilities be chain reaction resistant and have enough armor to be forgiving if you make a mistake cannot have full weapon complement even with upgraded even when upgraded unless they make a, unless the player makes aftermarket additions needs to have basic fabrication full medical moderate storage and a simple interior needs to have some basic game and needs to have a basic game mechanic guides now the bp name is going to be miza rai Group name, which is basically the description in this case, is T4 Combat Level 20 Spawn. And the spawn name is Miser Right. Now I will take you through that what that what that means. So go over here to it in these blueprints. Where are you? Okay. This is the group name, and it's often used to add a little bit of a description. This is the BP name, in other words, what it shows up as in the list. This is the spawn name, so when you spawn it, it'll it'll have that name. Okay, very, very simple. Um, and if you don't know what you're doing, a pain in the butt otherwise. Now, I have some other things here, like this one. Uh, yeah, I have that one also ready made for it. Anyways, so, I am in the Internals of the Miserai, and this is something that Alessia helped me out with. Now, this... Oh, shh. That's not centered. Oh, no, it is centered. It, it's just the perspective. Okay, whatever. Um, this is something I made from five symbols in the symbol guide. Oh, oh. So you have, in the symbol guide over here on the LCD, you have five symbols. And I used this one. Um, this one. This one. That one. And one other. Where is it? Nope, nope, that's it. And I'm not going to show the coding because, well, I mean, I'll, I'll show a little bit of the coding. But that, all those symbols made that single sort of custom thing right there. 
and then wrote all of this out, made the lines here. out of just triangles and, and uh, rectangles. This out of uh, custom things that are over there, and then all of this. So once you understand LCDs, it's it's not that hard, but you need a good teacher. Anyways, this one is from Salusticor off of his LCD kit, and I only modified the coloring in it and put Mesa Rye instead of Guardian. Okay, that's all I did there. <laughs> but that is fully his LCD, uh, minus those small tweaks. Now, down here in the area, tips for new players. And just an acknowledgments and from the creator. Uh, if you want to pause and look at that, go for it. Now, over here, I have the boarding ramp, which is tied to signal logic uh, on the P menu, which is landing entry very very simple signal logic on off signal uh, has landing gear for uh, space for more turrets you have the the turrets there I mean the thrusters there and you have a lot of glowies and a lot of just built up around it you know it's um it's not meant to be end-all, be-all combat ship. Just something to get you through the early game and deal with some of the enemies. Okay. And then I have these little vent things, which are sort of like RP missile launchers. And those are on the top and the bottom. Because, um, well, I needed to fill space and I needed the weight to stay down so that it would be maneuverable. And then on the nose tanking side, you have your... Your thrusters on the internals, you have generators in the internals, and then you have a combat steel bulkhead, and then more decoys all the way up to this point. And this is the bulkhead, and that's where the generator is. So, yeah, that's not great, but it is what it is. Um, if you get to that point, you should, like, if you have had this thruster blown right here, you will have already had this reverse thruster blown. So if you're still in the in there by now, that's just there to draw fire away from the, the cockpit so you can get the heck out of Dodge. Now, this thing has taken me a couple of weeks because I've been doing LCDs and actually learning LCDs in the background. So, yeah. Uh, I have been taking my time to learn LCDs in order to finish up this project. It was actually, other than the LCDs, was done about two weeks ago. Uh, over here, again, is the thing that was made for thumbnails. Just goofy little build here. And I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but anyways... Up here we have the Reaper project, which I am going to be doing a little bit of work on here in the stream, but I am going to be separating the time between that and working on this thing right there, because uh, sometimes you just need to get other things done. So while I was in another save, I noticed that I had made this piece right here. Now I'm going to clean that, that up real quick. Uh, I had made this piece right there, and I realized that that wasn't a part of the the current version and I realized that because I was working on another version and another save and I didn't properly update it in my BP folder so I, I just ripped that piece off and brought it over to this save on another core on a, a bits and pieces core in the background and then I just cut it off of that so the, what this basically is, is this is going to go over here where these turrets are. I don't need turrets here because I've got turrets up there. And it's going to go over here and it's going to replace this area because there are no um, generator decoys outside of this thruster and that thruster. And that's what these are going to be.
Now I need to double check that I didn't update. Yeah, I updated that. Um, so let's go ahead and clean that up. It might help if I turn the turn the uh, good old uh, selection on and uh, turn the HUD back on so I can actually see the end menu. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. Okay, yeah, um, we'll have to deal with that another, I mean, I'll have to deal with that another way, but that's alright. Uh, let's go ahead and put a single block in the middle like that so I can select that properly. Selection, control, shift A, just once so it selects the part. Go to the copy and go to paste once. Yes, I'm gonna. I, I I I say that every time because not only am I trying to teach users that watch the channel or or people that watch the channel, I'm trying to to burn it into my muscle memory because well, yeah. All right, looks good. It gets rid of two turrets. I don't really care about that. This thing has a lot of turrets. And I'm happy with it. I, I placed it. I'm going to just paste it once more. And then I'm going to get the scale selection. Flip it. Move, get the move selection again and again you can switch these out by just pressing that thing in the center but I, I I prefer to go over there because it's just it's just how I do things I know it's it doesn't technically save time it's just how I I've done things for a while and it's uh, it is what it is okay and yeah Just double checking that it matches on each side. And turn off selection. I'm going to go straight to symmetry plane. Turn those on. And if you were paying attention, uh, you will notice that I trimmed some pieces off of that earlier. And the reason that I did that was because if I had pasted it with all that extra stuff on it, it probably wouldn't have placed properly, but I realized that I also trimmed too much, but that's, eh, it's fine. Um, so that's why I have symmetry playing back on. And let's go ahead and copy that piece. Bring it out to here. Flip it. Oh, I forgot to do something. Um, okay, so I, I did the up and down symmetry plane. Or the, the, the side to side, up and down but I didn't assign the last symmetry plane to save me a little bit of trouble. So that symmetry plane will go there. That way, anything that I do to this area is mirrored back to that area as well. And then turn these ones back on, because if you want to manipulate one independently, you turn the, others, the other planes off. Now I'm just going to simply copy that. And get out my paint gun. Now I'm going to turn off that symmetry plane because it has no use right now. And I will turn off that one too. Because it's not necessary. There's nothing. There, there's not a, a thruster behind that. It's just deco. 
because the thrusters are back here. And we are going to copy that. Color that as is. Again, configure. Okay, everything's fine there. Just double checking that I have the, the proper stuff done and checked. And all right, it's all added. It's all it takes to add a new piece. And then I can go up there and select that piece. And uh, I'm going to do that to the paint gun. That way I don't accidentally respray re the entire thing with some random color like glowies and blind you. Next, I'm going to go over to this piece. Control Shift A. Get rid of it. Don't need it anymore. And that was the only update that I had in mind for today for this this particular build, but it was something I needed to add, and I thought it would I thought it would be a, a nice little showing uh, so that you could see what I what I do whenever I add something from another build or just add something. Anyways. Thought it would be helpful. Now, back to the Phantom project. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to call it the Phantom. Uh, Phantom Striker or something project. I, I, I can't remember. I'll have to look at my notes again. I know. I, I'm horrible. I should I should know what this thing's called. But I, I called it something in a YouTube thumbnail, and I forget what it was. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm not unprofessional at all. <laughs> and I'm not forgetful at all. Um... Also, please be aware that you may hear dogs barking in the background. Um, I'm trying to do my best to make sure that doesn't happen, but uh, they're animals. Uh, they're, they're, yeah, so we'll see. Okay, now I forgot to do one thing, and that was move all the, the CV blocks back over to here. And pick up the... SV blocks that I want. So I need steel there, hardened steel there, container extensions. I will need the core components, such as I believe this is going to be a tier 3 or a tier 4. I'm not really sure yet, so we'll see. It's going to have a Pentax tank, and I don't know where I'm going to put that yet, so I shouldn't have that on my hotbar. That just goes back on my inventory. Um, detector, I haven't done that yet. Have I done the detector yet? Oh, no, I haven't. Okay. As a reminder, I put fuel tanks and generators down here on the, the starting pad thing because, well, yeah. I, I don't always have fuel. Speaking of which, it just ran out. That was uh, interesting timing. Again, just use scale selection to flip it. And then move it again to where I want it. Flip it again because, well, I want it to be symmetrical and I can modify it later. Let's go back to symmetry plane. Now, we don't have the side to side thrusters at the moment, and I'm not really sure what I want to do with that because I haven't really figured out what's going to be beyond this point on the wings yet. And I don't know if I'm going to be. I just don't know yet. And it's as simple as that. Um, yeah, it's. Uh... 
building is full of uncertainty until you have an image of your head and just like a a work of art or a masterpiece that you see in a museum most of the time you don't really you have a rough idea in your head but you don't really you, you can't plan it 100 percent in other words you can't plan step by step Excuse me, I need more tea. Okay. Anyways. And it, it, it's a process of... It, it's a process of just making slight changes to the plan to fit the reality rather than the concept. Conceptualism. Art. I'm glad I'm not an art professor, okay? <laughs> That was horrible. That was horribly explained. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways. What was I thinking about before I went on that tangent? I don't remember. Let's go ahead and get to building. Alright, again I'm going for the, the steel blocks. Uh, I'm going to put the carbon on the third slot again. Um... Because I don't use carbon except for deco, if I remember. And since this is a vanilla build, it's not too much of an issue. Okay. Oh, that's not textured. Why am I rotating that? I don't even need to rotate that. Um, I can just do that. Just looking for a block that's similarly rotated. It's not. Okay.
Now, because this is a vanilla SV, um, you have a maximum amount of turrets for an SV as, well, let me do the SV filter, and let me do the weapons filter, as literally six GAT turrets. That's all you can do for an SV in vanilla. So, two of them will be on the wing tips. Uh, roughly where where the camera is right now, and two of them will be on the top, and two of them will be on the. Oh. Okay, just two on the wingtips then. Um. Two more on the wingtips. Okay, that's all there is to it. So the six turrets. And could add some manual fire weapons. I'm not going to. Uh, okay, that changes my plan a little bit. I'm glad I double-checked that. Okay, this is just becoming very, very unwieldy. Um, now, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna get, I, I can't get myself to, to just keep that, you know? It, it's just not what I want from this build. Um, it's not what I want from this project. So, I'm going to go ahead and just, just do something different. can see where this is going I applaud you <laughs> uh, maybe not okay maybe maybe even I can't see where this is going uh, I, I thought I had an idea there but it, it wasn't uh, I'm just going to leave that there because I don't know what I'm doing over this thruster anymore.
Phantom Dagger is what it was. Okay. Um. Thought there was some other shaping here that I remember. I guess not. Huh, okay. Never mind. Alright, I'm going to go AFK for a second to deal with the dogs, and I will be right back. Um, this item right here, the Dark Entropy, uh, under a different name, and there will be a link in the work in the description. Uh, let me actually look it up here. It is available on the workshop, under my workshop. Now, this is... Um, yes, it's Dark Entropy. Uh, this... This SV, the Dark Entropy, is again available on the workshop, and it is made for servers that don't have, it's made for RE servers that don't have quant limits, or if you want to have a single player game and you don't want to worry about device limits, that's what it's made for. It's, it's, it's one of those overkill things that are, it's one of my, my all-out builds, where it's just like, throw everything at it. <laughs> builds. Um... And this is available in the workshop, but I will have a link in the description as well. And I'm going to go AFK while I, I, I leave you with this lovely view of, of ships. Okay, be right back.
All right, I am back. Sorry for the inconvenience of that. I am dog sitting for the parents that are away. Uh, so I, I, I'm not currently in my regular workspace. I'm at the parents' place and uh, I'm dog sitting because they are both away and on a business trip and being the dutiful son I am, I, I, I'm over dog sitting. Uh, yeah. So I was thinking about employing a similar uh, up and down thrust mechanic and the, the rear thrusters as this thing here because A, it's going to look really cool and B, it's going to be, it's just going to be a lot easier to deal with that than uh, it's just going to be a lot easier if I do some block to do block work if I know where all the components are anyways uh, there's the box there's the box so I need the thrusters thrusters those thrusters those thrusters let's go ahead and get the warp drive so I can go and place it uh, and the pentax tank now what I'm thinking is I'm going to make this upgradable to where you can install upgrades such as the warp drive, the pentaxa tank, uh, shield drive, well, well the shield will be installed off the bat, but uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and see what happens because that is the plan, but it would be nice to, to give the player some some choice, you know. Okay, those are really, really big. That's fine. Uh, let's get the smaller versions of that. What one is that? Oh, that's Jet. Okay. So that's... Nope, that's big too. M's. Let's get M's. Mediums. One thing I've learned from building is that um, broader strokes often have um, making doing broad strokes with with builds uh, make things easier. If that makes sense. Oh, that's that thruster. Okay, that's the the forward and back thrusters. Okay. Um. 3 by 7 Do I have another version? Ah, oh, yeah. 2 by 5s. That's the one I was looking for. Now I want to separate these. Pick a block that's that's neutral colored. I want to separate these so that they don't blow up each other. Putting explosive components next to each other is never a good idea. Well, I mean, there are exceptions, but there are um, usually when it's something that doesn't have the, the hitbox value of, um, or the hit value to, to support it, it's not a good idea to put explosive blocks together. Uh, and with this, I just don't want to risk it, you know? I, I, I don't want to make a bomb. That's just not nice for new players.
Uh, I can move it later if I change the block shaping. Now in order to save CPU, down thrusters will be, um, how do I say this? Uh, only down thrusters will be used, uh, only large down thrusters will be used because I am going to be using the jet thrusters in a different configuration later on to create the to create the um, how do I, how am I putting this uh, to create the up thrust and that's so that uh, that's so that uh, I, I I try and keep CPU within acceptable insanity. Um, so it is going to be T4 because of the thruster configurations. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the T4 CPU set out and out of the way. And the other devices that are going to be integral to the build allotted with CPU. Okay, so let's get the generators. Um, let's go ahead and get the... I've already used the cockpit. I've already used... Oh, I need two turrets, okay. And the T4 CPU. So let's go ahead and put those on the hot bar so that I can just space them out. I'm gonna go with six of those generators and then we'll do an energy test. Uh, we'll do an energy draw test at some point and I'll and I may add more. Uh, is there anything else I need to add that I'm forgetting? O2 tanks. Just gonna go with just gonna go with four of those. Some wireless extenders. I'm gonna go with four of those. Uh, no, not four, but five of those. I know it's probably not gonna be that many, but it, it might as well just add it someplace so that you know what it's gonna be. Uh, put a fuel generator on top of that. I'm not gonna be using the gravity generator. I know it looks freaking awesome, but I'm not gonna be using it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and allocate space for this, but it's not going to be for CPU. It's it's going to be an aftermarket edition, okay? Um, well, actually, I'll, I'll need to look at the final edition. Okay, so what do we have here? Sixty-eight thousand of one hundred. Okay, so we're well within the the green there, uh, not including blocks. No, no, that is including everything, every device that I have planned for this SV, and as well as the CPU needed for the blocks themselves, for whatever reason. So if, if we look at the CPU over here, you have 746 steel blocks there, so 746 CPU. Hardened steel blocks, 235. Carbon steel blocks, 82. It's not enough carbon. I, I, I didn't use carbon as much as I probably should have by this point, but whatever. Um, I may go back around and do a thing. But anyways, we're, we're about 35,000 CPU free, even with all the... Oh, right, I need to add the turrets. Uh, let's, I'll have to do that math again, because I need to add the turrets. And I'm not going to do the, the whole precise calculations math, because that's just, um, let's make sure I'm looking at the right thing. Yes, I am. Okay. Okay, so, total CPU, so that's 70k, which leaves me about 25k, 25k CPU left for, for, uh, Blocks, which is blocks and miscellaneous devices, uh, which is completely fine. I'm just going to leave that there for the moment. I, I don't know if I'm going to leave it there permanently, but I'll leave it there for the moment.
Now, as you might remember, earlier I had a selection of blocks that I nearly forgot about, if I'm honest, that I was going to use as sort of uh, shaping. And... I can go ahead and get that selection of blocks again, but... Um... What if I put it there? That wasn't initially what I had in mind, but it, it, it fits, you know? And it looks good. Now, I am going to rotate these because they look better the other way. Come on. Place where I want. Thank you. There we go. Now that's going to create an interesting shaping challenge, but you know what? We're up to the task. It's fine. And yeah, I already had an idea there. Uh, now, what I should do, and what I will do, is move this back. Um, move that block selection back on both sides, because I need that extra room. Paste. I'm just going to paste again because um, I, I, I just don't want to do that whole selection thing on the other side. So I'm just going to paste that again and flip it because it, it's going to save time just to get rid of it. Paste. And then I'm going to do this. And simply hit that uh, delete button and do that. Turn symmetry plane back on. There. I've just, sha I've just saved myself. I crud ton of time just moving that back now I realize that I moved that back too far which is completely fine because it's easy to select again but in the meantime I want to take a look at um, what shaping is going to work here and I can always just move that stuff back again because it again it just takes a few seconds and uh, yeah it, it's it's very very simple now yeah, okay uh, that's kind of works but it kind of doesn't. So let's do that one. Okay, I am happy with that. Now, that's a problem. Um, I need a full block there. Sacrifice some container space for, um, for texturing reasons. Uh, oh, great job block. Uh, let's, let's do that again. Really? Really? Whenever I'm doing this, it, it, it just it just warps my brain trying to figure this out, and 
Yeah, it's screw you. Really? Really? Lame. Okay. I just said lame. I, I really just said that. Okay. Okay. I I'm not going to think about that too much. Why? Why would you do that cut corner E? Just, just... Oh. I have a, a sneaking suspicion that that's what's going... No? Okay. Oh. I was being a dumb dumb. Okay. Never mind. Nope, that was just me being a dumb dumb. Yep, that that attracts. That still irks me a bit. How it's like that on the bottom, but it's like that on the top. Walk away from it. Just, just, just walk away from it and deal with it later. Okay, it's, it's fine. It's completely fine. My OCD is not completely triggered right now. Okay, well... This is what I've gotten done today. I will see you guys next time. Remember, have a wonderful day. And if you wish to stay for the ad read, please do. And I'm just promoting my own content. But anyways, have a wonderful day. Remember to be kind to your own. Uh, remember to be kind to your to your uh, fellow humans. And it's time to do some promotion. <laughs> All right. So, as some of you may be aware. I have Patreon rewards, and there is a linky in the description. Now, what some of you might not know is that I also have rewards for just being a Discord member. Okay. Um, uh, let's see here. Let me make sure that I'm... Uh, let me make sure. Just give me a sec here. Uh, yeah, that's completely fine. Uh, stay, stay with me a moment. Uh, for a moment. Uh, Activating something real quick. No, no, I'm not going to do that. Anyways, so some of you might be aware that I have, um, for my Discord, for the people that participate in my Discord, and for the people that uh, are active in the Discord, yes, I, it, yes. Anyways, I have certain BPs that are exclusive only to those people in my Discord. And there, there's a link in the description to my Discord. Now, some of these BPs, let me see if I can find some of them, because I have such a pain in the butt library right here, include utility blueprints. Now, do, 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 do. Eternal Dialogue, Rishni, Azamor, Arbitrator, uh, Antietam, Interna, ah, here we are. So some of these include... Uh, 
I'm not in Reforged right now. So, um, anyways, some of these include uh, custom BPs that I have taken the time to overhaul. And... Freaking CPU shenanigans. Anyways, some of these BPs are... And this is a horrible ad read, and I, I, I'm sorry, I just, yeah, it is what it is. Some of these custom BPs include custom versions of things from the workshop that I have modified and gone through and armed to the teeth, armored, gone completely overboard with, and customized to my heart's content. And they are far from the original blueprint. They are a complete overhaul from the original. And I took my time to go through each one of these. The uh, Eternal... Uh, I, I renamed this the Eternal Darkness because, well, anybody that, that deals with it, well, let's just say any enemy ship that deals with this, it, that, that sees this thing is, well, they're committed to the Eternal Darkness of space because this thing will completely utterly destroy them i have used this until i until i finish the aurora and and the eternal darkness um but yes this is a 10 ox 22 quant spawn if you want the bells and whistles it comes with three fusion reactors more turret space than you can take shake a stick at <laughs> and has better nose tanking maneuverability it has nose tanking it's got an lx2 it, it's got a mount for an lx2 that is almost nearly in line with the the bridge here um so it, it it's got the same sniping ability as the aurora and again, this is just something that I, I keep on the Discord. I won't publish this to the workshop. I keep this on the Discord for people that join the Discord and are active in the Discord. And ox room down here. I've got a custom auxiliary room down here, which is armored between... It's in a more secure place. Uh, you've got your own spaces for RTGs. And the big shield bits are prevented from chain reacting other things. So these are quant rooms. These are places, these are little areas where you can put quants. And they will not be destroyed if the RTG, uh, excuse me, they will not even be damaged if the, 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 one of the, uh, what are they called? Shield chart, uh, the arrays are blown up. And you also have room. All the CPU component components are armored around. You have room in the back here on each side with a combat steel surrounded quant room for even more quants. So this thing can be upgraded to I think 70 quants if you want to. I'm not kidding. And um, there there's just room for quants all over in the ship. And it's got full solar, which you can't see right now because this is vanilla. And there are turret spaces absolutely everywhere. I, I've taken the time to reshape the nose so that there are more turret spaces. So there are turret spaces on the underneath. You know what? I should probably get my paint gun out so you can see this better. No, I don't want to copy that. I just want to configure it. Come on. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Configure. And hit OK. I, I, I had Glowy selected, my bad. Butchering the ship, I know. Of course, Glowy's was selected. Okay. So as you can see with the shaping here, I have taken the time to go through and... These are armored. You've got spaces for turrets down here. Um, there is a whole rack under here for turrets. There are spaces for turrets here and there. 
and this is a freaking monster to say the least and these right here these little glowy orbs are spaces for legacy disruptors if you find them and can put them on your ship and this thing is just an absolute beast and this is just one of the let me count them one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 blueprints that you cannot find anywhere else than the workshop. I mean, anywhere else other than my Discord. So again, there'll be a link in the description. If you wish to really support my page, consider becoming a patron and get your name and lights. Uh, each month, I update this. And I just want to say thank you. I hope that you have a wonderful day. And Banshee out.